Hi, I'm Mahesh. Let's meet the owner of that Prius C. Hi, I'm Michael. Today we'll take a detailed look at the car, find out Michael's top three likes and dislikes, and discover if he recommends you buy, consider, or skip this car. Let's go for a spin. The Prius C is a subcompact hybrid in a class with other cars like the Hyundai Ioniq Hybrid, Nissan Versa, and Honda Fit. So let's find out why Michael decided to pick this car. So uh, I have a friend who used to work for Toyota and he really recommended that I, I look into the lower end um, models uh, because they're very reliable. And uh, I also have a number of other friends who, who have this exact model and really were very happy with it. And I commute a lot, so I was primarily looking for a car that had really good mileage. Introduced in 2012, the Prius C is the smallest member of the Prius family, which include the Prius and the Prius V. The C stands for city, and this is the smallest member of the family. When it was introduced, the EPA rated it as the most fuel-efficient compact car, excluding hybrids, that is. So let's take a detailed look at this car. In electric line metallic, the Prius C is a cute, stylish car. Compact proportions make navigating and parking in the city a breeze. Aerodynamic lines with a sharply raked windshield achieve a remarkable drag coefficient of 0.28. An impressive 50 miles per gallon is really why you'd buy this car. Unfortunately, those miles come at a price. The 1.5-liter engine produces only 99 horsepower and 82 pound-feet of torque. 0 to 60 is in a leisurely 11.2 seconds. The interior, like the exterior, is compact. Seats are finished in two-tone fabric. The instrument cluster is mounted in the center by the windshield. A pleasant surprise is having a touchscreen infotainment display at this price. Drive modes include Eco and EV. Seating three in the back would be a challenge. So let's find out how this car is working out for Michael. Here are his top three likes and dislikes. So my first like about the car is that it fits me very well. I'm, I'm a smaller person and uh, it's tough for me to find cars where I don't feel a little bit uh, sunken in in the seats and so um, sitting in the, the Prius C is, is very comfortable for me. So my second like uh, with the car is just the gas mileage. I, I commute so much and even when I'm not driving conservatively, which is often, um, I'm still getting in 40 mile per gallon range. Um, and if I'm being really careful, I can get it up into the 50s. So that's really saves me a lot of money. Uh, so I live in the city and parking can be a challenge and the car takes up a very small amount of space. So it makes parking much less of a headache than it could otherwise be. So just in the way the car really fits me well as a smaller sized person, um, I have larger friends and family who are unhappy sitting in the passenger seat. Um, so that's probably a negative. So the car uh, connects uh, with Bluetooth on my phone, which is uh, nice, but often the connection is a little bit funky. Sometimes it'll just randomly start playing things. Sometimes it doesn't fully connect and it's not clear why. So those aren't things that you want to be dealing with when you're on the road. So the car doesn't have too much power, especially if you're going uphill or you're on the highway. And so to get it to accelerate, you really have to push the pedal all the way in and that can be frustrating. 40 to 50 miles per gallon in real world conditions is pretty impressive. Just don't try going up any of the San Francisco hills in this car. Before we get to Michael's recommendation, here are a few highlights from the rest of our chat and a little bit about this show.
We don't pay the drivers on the show for their opinions. Instead, to thank them, we make a donation to a non-profit charity of their choice. You can thank them by clicking on the like button below. If you'd like to be on the show, please reach out. And now onto Michael's recommendation. Let's find out if he recommends you buy, consider, or skip this car. I would absolutely recommend buy. I mean, I've, I've loved the car. It's really fit my needs perfectly. So I would definitely recommend buy. And there you have Michael's recommendation. We'd love to hear from other Prius C owners. Let us know your likes, dislikes, and recommendation in the comments below. Subscribe and see you soon.